The Dream Factory. 22 boxes. A quarter of a million pounds. Just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. of a brand new week. Let's delve into those dreams. Come with me. I have found a common dream. Well, it's not a common dream. It's a dream that is shared by three members of the East Wing. It's a Caribbean dream. Shana would like to win enough money to go to Barbados and lie on a beach. Yeah. <laughs> and Stephen, he would like to go to the Caribbean. He would like to go to Barbados. And Jeanette would love to go to the Caribbean, wouldn't oh, she? Oh, yeah. Yes, oh, yes, oh, yes. However, one of them is the odd one out. Shana wants to go to Barbados with me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's go on with the game, quick. Choose Shana, please stop at Shana. For goodness sake, stop at Shana. <laughs> Oh, yes. Oh, yes. S-H-A-R-N-A -A spells... Jason. <laughs> Jason, it is you. Would you please take the walk of wealth? Oh, well pumped up there. Jason Brinkley from Leicester with mate Alan. Alan's here. How long have Alan. you known each other? 17 years. 17 years. How, how did you meet? Work. Work. I was, um, I was a builder and work dried up, so I worked in a shoe factory for about three years. And this guy walked in the door one day and we just hit it off in a shoe factory. <laughs> Pretty bizarre, weren't it? But it was good. He's a nice fella. Top fella. So this really is a case of he's your soulmate. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> oh, not quite like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but now you're a house husband. House husband, yes. For the last four years, had a little baby, obviously four years ago. Little daughter. We decided uh, for me to stay at home and give it a go. Wow. <laughs> Bit of a um, difference from laying bricks and driving forklift trucks and things like that. Changing nappies, getting covered in baby sick, smell like porridge all day. You know, it's. Uh, Fantastic time in my life. I just want to say to my wife, Natalie, thank you very much for giving me the chance to like, be with my kids all day, every day. Money can't buy that, I don't think. But it helps. And this is obviously, if I may, yes. this is the lady to whom you refer. She's the one. And how did you two meet? It's funny. It's, um, I've known her since she was about five or six years old. And um, I used to play football in a little cul-de-sac in Leicester where we used to live. How old was I? I was about 21. I bumped into her, started bumping into her on regular occasions, started hanging around outside the local pub. We started bumping into each other more often for about a year, become real good friends and uh, decided to take it see, you know, one step further, serious stuff. Just used to do all the things together and you know, never argue, just had so much in common and real good friendship. And uh, we are one. And I know from your file, this is also a very interesting story as well. This lady on the end is um, Alan's wife, but uh, this is the only photograph I've got of Amal, who um, that photo was taken in Sri Lanka where I got married in 2004. I met him on the beach. He started taking us out. He took us out to like see the elephants, toured us around the island. And uh, when my baby was born on, in 2004, the tsunami had hit the day before. And I'd spoken to Amal and, and it was safe. You know, he says, I've survived and stuff. And then, because we used to keep in touch a lot. And uh, as of yet, the, the last two years, we've not heard anything back. And uh, the last time I spoke to him two years ago, he was, uh, he'd had 
He had some walls up so they could live, but he didn't have a roof above his head. And I just, you know, I wanted to win some tin money, get some roof, roofing stuff for him or pots and pans, anything like that. And I just thought if I could win enough money, maybe I could get down there, go and see him, surprise him. Mm -hmm. Hopefully improve their lives just that little bit better. That's a great reason to take the banker for a lot of money. I hope so. And now another lovely photograph. Yeah, that's what it's all about with me. Obviously, uh, the girl there, you can see, the four-year-old, little Sophia, Princess Sophia. Hello, beautiful, I'm coming home soon. Yeah, and uh, this little fella here, Jude the Dude, born on Christmas Day, and uh, missing on big time. That is beautiful. <laughs> Jason, are you happy to go on? More than happy to go on. I'm chilling out a bit now, I'm a bit more relaxed. Here we go. On with the show. I need you please to confirm you chose box 16 at random before the game began. I certainly did. It is sealed by our independent adjudicator who seals all 22 boxes and is the only person who knows where the money is, right? That's the formal bit out of the way. Let's yeah. get some money now. Yeah, absolutely. Jason, I want you to do really well. Good luck. Right, I've got a few numbers in my head that I'm going to keep till the end. Planning, I want to get to Firebox, that's my goal. I want to rush. I want to rush. Right, no superstitions. 22. It's not an F box, it's a number. Mary? All the best, yes. Thank you. No more messing around. Number one, it's been playing on everyone's mind. Tracy? It is funny, actually, Trace, just before you open it, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, for some reason, a bit like the death box for a while, it has this extra element to it. So, Tracy, it'd be very nice if something very small and cuddly came out of there. It's good, Jason. He's been scaring me recently. I think you know I'm going to call. Yeah. Have a bit of fun as well. Russ. You do have that power, Russ. You have, for us, redefined the word weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you like to give us your favourite noise that you make? It's a uh, uh, cockerel. Box 17 for us, please. <laughs> Good neighbour. Nice to see you. And I hope it's a blue. Oh. 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 Amazing, and an opening round to find them both is very unusual. Right, we'll have the chef. TV chef, anyone recognise? What sort of TV chef? <laughs> Serious face. Ainsley! <laughs> I knew someone would pull it up. You know I'm only kidding, you're better looking than Ainsley. You know I mean? Jason, you're a top fella. Cheers, dude. Always. Again, I, I, that is yeah. three games in a row where those two have been welded together. Yeah. Wow. was a truly amazing seesaw round, that, mm. Jason. You've, you've kind of balanced it out, really. I need to sit down. 
Hello. Yeah, what an opening round. It was a breathtaking round. Who are you fond of at the moment? Steve? Oh. <laughs> He's just given you a shocking nickname. The Silent Killer. Carbon Monoxide. 100 grand. And the day before, 50,000. Game before that, quarter of a million. 400,000 in three games. 008, you're all right by him. There's a tiny bit of him that's disappointed, Jason. Yeah, go on then. Oh, I like that. I like that very much indeed. Yeah, he knows you're here for a scrap. And even though you took the two biggest, take this as a big compliment. Five and a half thousand. He could really, really... I just had an horrible thought. One of my numbers was 12. Who had number 12? I was going to say that till the end. It wasn't Stephen, was it? Yeah. Yeah, Steve. But the kids are born on there in December. Oh, man. Ready for the question, Mum. Five and a half thousand pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. I've made one mistake. Box 21 I'm keeping. 21 because it's letter of the alphabet is U. You all know I'm a big U2 fan, so num box number two staying. Seven is staying. 25th of December, Jude was born. Two and five, seven. You ain't got 25, so seven staying. Can you remember these? This is my five box. Nine, <laughs> Sophia. 27th she was born, 7 and 2, 9. Crazy box 17, wherever, they ain't took that out already, have they? And what was in number 17 then? Because that was my box of joy. Quarter of a million. Oh, no. Yeah, but I could have had the... the... You could have had the perfect end. Refocus, mate. Number 19. Come on. Oh, no. I'm all right, dude. It's all right, dude. It's all Team's not on my list, I'm sure of that. No. Come on, Vic. Let's have a blue for me. Well, work hard now. Come on. Thank you, Vic. I hope it's a blue for you, Jason. I can count to seven. Must be a break coming up soon. I think you need it. I think it's one of those situations where you uh, you need to take a very deep breath. Yes. One of the most difficult things is shaking off disappointments. Uh, you're showing your disappointment. You've got to shed that because this is a break and we go into the second part of Jason's game very shortly. Do come back. And his motto is, was, if it's in play, go all the way. It was, yes. Well, that referred to the quarter of a million. But why wouldn't you now just recalibrate your ambitions and say £50,000 is in play, so go all the way? Very impressive, the figure. Very impressive. Yeah. yeah. Find the 10p. 10p. I need a blue. 10p. Michelle. Nice blue top you got there. Thank you, Michelle. Really hope it's blue. Oh. 50 grand, okay. it's okay, but it's all right. nibbled away at the influential column. Oh. 
That's not so bad in a way, because I honestly thought it was going to be £50,000. The way things were going. Oi, oi, that's not the kind of dirty talk we want. Positivity. Yes. Come on. Hello. You're with Jason. <laughs> He's saying there's something wrong with a bit of realism. He's with you, yeah. You're going to be realistic in the offer now, are you? Are you serious? You don't think, realistically, you could get Jason out of the chair at this point? His ambition, yes. And there's no way he'd be the first person to deal with the second offer. Wow. OK, at the second offer, he has never, ever offered the swap. If there's a box there that means more to you than box 16, you now have a chance of bringing it to the table. Wow. So, he's being a realist. He doesn't think at this point, because of your determination and your ambition, that he can possibly buy you. So he's not even going to try. But how, how do you choose between your two children? You can't, can you? Hey, no. I'm ready for the question. I've made my mind up. Oh, there's my birthday over there. Jason, swap or no swap? No swap, no. OK. Well, I want. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I think you give the banker a little bit of... You know, if I swapped, put that box back over there start playing mind games and it becomes confusing to me when to open that box. Mm -hmm. Just leave it as it is. So that's a perfectly, Thank you, banker, for the offer perfectly anyway. Perfectly credible reason. Let's go for... We nearly went to 21 then. Terry, tell six. Where you go, boy? Let's have a blue. Thanks for being a good mate, Jason. I shall miss you, mate. Miss you. Yeah. Fifteen Donna. So it's the blue. Oh, right, it's the blue. Twenty hours. Ah. It's not the big one, Jason. It's, it's not the biggest one. Number. Number. <laughs> Lovely Susie. Hey Jason, I know you've had a bad start, but I believe you're going to have a good finish. Just keep your spirits up, okay? Thank you, Susie. Nice to say that. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. 35,000, and now, so early, it's already a one box game. That is seriously bad luck at 11. That really is bad luck. Hello. Oh, right, he's saying you're the most intense competitor he can remember. What is serious now, isn't it? Uh, it might be a little bit for you to get to, but he says he hopes that you will see that this is a highly respectable offer. Two and a half thousand. Jason, the 50 grand and the 10, I know the spread's out, but they are still there, and there is a backup of five and three. So don't lose faith, keep your faith going. You know, don't don't, don't dwell on it, you can't have what's no. been. Still got 50, there's still a lot of money there. To me, there's a lot of money. There is. And uh, I've always wanted to get to five box, that's my thrill ride. This makes it, just for that point alone, because the big ones are gone. 50 is a fantastic amount. I'm going for this. Yeah. Sorry for the question.
question now. Okay. Two and a half thousand pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Turn your belief into a powerful round. Put me a blue out, dude. Yeah, we want a nice pound, please, Big Ben. Hope so, mate. It's been brilliant with you. It has been brilliant. Dong! Oh. 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 That is so cruel. Come on, Jason. Come Ten on. grand there, mate. Come, Come on. Ten grand. Martin. Number 11, please. You look all changed, Jason. Nice meeting you. Yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight tells me it's eight box. Still got me mind. I can still count. Eight box now? Yep, not quite. Is it? No, you got nine there. Oh. Don't forget there's one on the table. Okay, then. It's no, no, it's all right. We are going to have a break. Okay. How are you feeling? I'm feeling I'm ready for the five box rush and I just hope the ten grand is there. But it's going to be hard. Come on, I've never blues. heard it called that. Never heard it called the five box rush. It'll probably go into our language, but hopefully because it's a rush to get a lot of money, not a rush to oblivion. Do come back. husband and he's got two beautiful kids and the game has not been kind to him that's the honest truth there's no point in trying to put it in any other terms his back is against the wall to get meaningful money out of this game but it can be done can be done the next step is a blue has to be a blue to eight box because it's eight box there's number eight it's number eight let's have it yeah yeah okay Rowley. i've got He's coined the, the phrase, the five box rush. He wants to get to five box with enough money to get a really good buzz out of this. So we need a blue. Have us a blue for you, Jay. whether the banker was listening when you said in the break because he does listen all the way through the break as well but you did actually say 750 pounds it's a very nice sum of money and you yeah. could do a lot with that well you're not going away with 750 because it just went hello he has taken it very very well yes yeah, the lesser man would have been crushed do you saying jason For now, oh, I'm sorry for pointing it out. Seven hundred and fifty pounds would be a nice sum of money. Your offer is seven fifty. Makes it easy for me now. Yeah, straight away. Straight away. Seven hundred and fifty pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank yeah. you. Right, you've got two blocks of four, and I know which one I want to see holes in. So do I. I can feel the five box rush coming already. That's why I want to set a key. Okay, mummy. Number five, please. Let's hope it's another blue. I really do. <laughs> another blue. Thank you, Kerry. Good luck, Jason. Anyone, do I start with a favourite rock band? I've actually left 3rd of the 10th, which is my 3rd of October. Would my birthday be lucky? I think 
think it would, because I was born on that. that. That was my month, my time of the, you know, 1970. 3rd of October, you two. Cheers. Take your time, mate. I think you're overcomplicated the numbers. Take your time. Yeah. Refocus. Okay. Now do I do the month or the day? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go with... I'm going to go for you. Jeanette, number 10, October. You too, son. Oh, this is a move. Good Please. Luck. A lot of deliberation went into this one. Please let it be right. 5,000 has gone. Still not 10. Still not 10. <laughs> Blocks, it's one all. Make the third one come out of the left-hand side. Yeah. Number three, James. James, this is a really important box in his world right now. Good luck, Chase. Thank you, James. That's a big, that's two reds, one blue. Well, that doesn't tell the whole story because now it's a thousand all. It's ten thousand, but it's not. It's not five boxes, is it? One, two, three. Oh, four, yes, yes, five, yes, yes. Whoa! <laughs> I'm here! Can't believe I'm at the five box. Can't yeah. believe that board. To be honest. Hello? Yeah, he just said, neither can he. Good, isn't it? The average on the board is only two and a half grand, yeah? making this difficult for you now. 12.50. Total silence. 1,250 pounds is the value of box 16. Cheers. I really don't want to see you go home with the blue. Is that tin money? Jason. The flights, how much would they cost when you want to go alone? It's worth a punt, I think. A blue's no good, but 1,200 is not going to get you your flights and everything else you need, is it? So. I think it's worth a gamble. Make my mind up. Only you once. I'll stick it to the end now. Ask me the question. 1,250 pounds. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. It's you two. It starts with the U, so it's got to be 21. Yep. Yep. 21. Okay, Shana, it is you. And we know what we must not see. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Jason, my darling, I hope it's a blue. Good luck. <laughs> Three grand's gone. We're hanging right on the edge now. This is real nail-biting stuff. Please open the box. Please make it a blue. Good luck, Chase. These moments, these are the definitive deal moments. Get this wrong. And it's, it's the end of the game. I was going to ask if he'd ring, so I want to ask him a question. Okay, hello. If the next box is the 10 grand, the final offer will be 36 pounds. But if it isn't the 10,000, it'll be 3,600. Hang on, before you go, he, he's got a question. What's the question? Because I was undecided in what to do with my box. And those two mean more to me than anything. And I'm, I've had the rush. I'm here. Would you allow me to swap that with one of those? And then that'll be the box I'll open. Next. Oh, Jason. But here will you choose between... Doesn't some... matter. Doesn't matter. Because they're my two kids. They're the two numbers that mean something to me. This one doesn't, and I've been thinking about it since I declined that offer of a swap early on. 
he would like now to swap 16 for either 9 or 7. He'll make that decision. And he promises that then the next box will be the 16. So the final two boxes will be 9 and 7. Jason. Sorry Banker for se- in. I'm so sorry. 9 and 7. Add them together. 16. Your kids. It's on the table. 16. 7 and 9 is 16. I could open it... <laughs> It's true. Good no, no, well spotted. I mean, my mind's not about adding up numbers at the minute. It's just about one number on my box. So I'm not going. To Hello. Chase. He said I can take the swap. He told me to take the swap, young man. Jason, if you believe in fate, that's the box that you picked. And that, and if you open that when it's over there and it's ten grand, you're gonna be wounded. But I say, and do what they say. Do what my family for the last two or three weeks have all been very supportive. And like I've both kids out, in one box, both kids in one box, but... but That'd be like, good. Because then it'll be... Saves all the arguments later on in life. Why did you pick me first? <laughs> um, ask me the question now. Swap or no swap? Sorry, banker, for messing you around. No swap. <laughs> Fear came first. Bless her. She's number seven. Kate. Okay, here we are. Final box in the round. And thanks to the ever helpful banker, we know that if this is a flash of red, his next offer will be £36. If it's a flash of blue, his next offer will be £3,600. A massive difference. All on what you are now going to reveal. Thank you, Kate. This is Blue Jason. So sorry. remember such an unlucky game honestly Jason uh, heart goes out to you because it is as if every single time there was going to be good news somebody said sorry but there's some bad news Uh, it is £36 Jason £36 deal or no deal no deal no It has been uh, just such bad luck. Um, It doesn't feel as if this is going to be any luckier, but uh, we're down in the small money now, and you actually brought to the table, and you could have sent it away, of course. Um, So this is what you were determined to hang on to to the very end. Ten pounds. All right. Tristan, will you please... Complete the game. 100 quid. You okay? I'm okay, yeah. I'm just. I, I'm now thinking back to them two numbers that I knew at the time meant so much, but that's life. And sometimes the boxes aren't kind. You didn't do anything wrong, they just weren't kind. That's right. 
But it's been a great pleasure to have met you, and I think your kids are blooming lucky. Thank you very much, Noel. Even if today, for once, you... for a new series. Paul O'Grady next with Dame Edna and Mika.